If this is the first time you come to CPOS, you will need to create a CPOS account with a username other than your eBay account name. You don't have to worry about which should be your parent account or sub account. Now you can create a new one. First, visit cpos.ebay.com. Then, click Create CPOS Account. Fill in the username you like, give a password, and double confirm the password. The password doesn't have to be any of your eBay site password. To avoid unexpected attack, a CAPTCHA code is also needed here. Now click Create Account button to complete the step. Just enter the CPOS account name and password here to sign in to CPOS. What if I forgot the password? It's easy. Click Forgot Password. You will come to a page to validate your account. There are two steps to validate your account and reset the password. Step 1. Go to eBay page to enter an associated eBay account and password. Any of your associated eBay account will work. Step 2. If the eBay account is successfully verified, we will direct you to the password reset page to enter a new password. We encourage you to go through your account preference setting to make sure the system setting can meet your need. Please click setting on the top right page after you sign in CPOS. In preference page, you will be able to change your CPOS password, number of rows visible for one page, and the preferred default language. Now, English, Traditional Chinese, and Thai are available. We also encourage you to key in a couple of default value on this page. This will save a lot of time when you start handling your orders. Multiple eBay accounts can be supported here. You can add more than one eBay accounts here so the system will pull and fulfill eBay orders for all eBay accounts you added. We follow standard eBay authorization and user consent flow. Your eBay accounts are safe with us. We are not storing your eBay site password. All associated eBay accounts will be listed in eBay account page. Actions can be taken for the eBay accounts here. Update token to refresh your authorization. Delete to revoke user token and remove the eBay account. Default ship from address will be pulled from your eBay site preference to CPOS. You can also change the address to another one on CPOS. CPOS will pull the default ship from and return two addresses from your eBay site preference the first time you add your eBay account. You can also change to another one here. To edit sender address, simply click Edit button next to the address you want to update. Fill in all address information and click Save button to save it to CPOS. This action won't update the address information in your eBay account preference. If you have updated your sender address on eBay site, just click Refresh to refresh your sender address from your eBay account. Please be noted, only the first time you add your eBay account in CPOS, we will pull your address from eBay site preference. Any later editing of address on eBay site or CPOS won't affect one another. Apply to ready to ship orders will allow you to apply the updated sender address to all shipments in ready to ship status which haven't been assigned a tracking number. Manage your listings with SKU, custom label, is a more efficient way. All SKU information, e.g. weight declaration, HS code, etc will be automatically applied to your shipment if SKU matches your custom label on eBay. You only have to provide these information only once for each item. You don't have to enter these information each time you are processing a new shipment if the item has been sold before.
Picking slip is a customized slip with which you can do a quick pick and pack. You can customize the files to be printed on the picking slip. Preview the sample on the right and click Save to save your setting.